What's up YouTube? It's January 7th, 2023. I'm at the Eagles Hall here in Pacific, Missouri. Today's focus is what kind of gun can we find for under 500? This is a two day show and uh, it opened about an hour ago. So I got to get inside to find the deals that they're going to be walking off the tables. Well, it is basically standing room only. All right guys, so again, today's focus is going to be on guns. There's a Springfield XD, that's uh, 400. All right, there's a CZ for 425 it's a good price oh, you got a savage what 270 495 not a bad gun always fun to look at all right monty i'm here in today's episode i'm focusing on something under 500 and i usually carry specialty what would you have under 500 under 500 usually yours is specialty this so we got a percussion muzzle loader muskets five for this yeah and they then could. over here, most of this stuff over here and a lot of the pistols are under 500. All righty, awesome. I'm gonna go take a look. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. We've got a Glock 43X, two 10 round mags, 497, new. Right under, there's a Glock 43 compact. Down right there for, down right there for 530. Could probably top him down. You got a Taurus 93C 9mm for ooh, optic ready, it says. So I'm here particularly looking at buying a gun for under 500, and I got to get a look at some of these because that piques my interest big time. What is that? That's a Heritage Arm Rancher. Heritage Arm Rancher. 22? Yeah. 22. 22 caliber. Wow, that's neat. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see you about every show, don't I? How you doing, sir? Hat. All right, all right. So uh, I go, I do YouTube channels. Just curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Gun Show shows my YouTube channel, and I go around and just kind of highlight, like, man, that's a pretty interesting gun. I could probably talk down 275, maybe. I don't know. Do you have any but cards I, or anything? Or I'm not on me right now. And if you'd mind, I get our interaction on YouTube. Like, I talk to people, yeah. and I bought it mid December. Took it out. My favorite gun, and not because it's a 50, but because it actually shoots so well when you're behind it, off to the side or anywhere else, and that is a loud percussion Maybe instrument. Like, yeah, it's a massive muzzle brake on it. That Taurus 38 Special, got a price tag here, 350, 38. So I've seen a couple deals well under 500. That's good. Um, right there, we got a GSG 22. I have one of these with the 110 round drum, so I can't pick that up. Let's see, nice, 260, what is this? <laughs> 22? Uh, yeah. Yes. yeah, 260 on that little cool bat SBR. Let's see. The deal's under 500. I'm looking at deals under 500. So what do you got here? Tell me about them. So I got a Kiltec P11 9 millimeter for three. Three, all right. CCY for three. Mm -hmm. um, got a Glock 42. That hits the 500 mark. So, okay, cool, awesome. Anything else on the table I should look at? Tell me about it. So it's a 223 single shot pistol. 223 single shot pistol. We call it the flashbang. The flashbang. Huge fireball, loud. A lot of fire. It's so much fun to shoot. Yeah, that is. Where you take it, shoot it. Everybody yeah. stops what they're doing and has to come see Yeah, it. yeah, loud bang. All right, what do we got here? I know Heritage is what you got yeah, on the Heritage. Heritage. It's got the custom grips. It's got both cylinders on nice. the custom grips. Nice. Um, little Smith & Wesson. Wesson. Uh, SD9. SD9 DE. Yep. Cool, Two cool. Bags, 450. Awesome. Awesome. Nice little Rossi 22, 150 bucks. I mean, if you wanted it, it's 300. An Iver Johnson 32 Smith. Yes. 32 Smith and Wesson. And then a little Ruger Charger for 375 right there. We got a Keystone for 479. Got a Henry US Survival 22 camo 375. All right, what do we got here? We got a little older gun, so it's 325 on it. What is it? Let's see if we can flip it over. Oh, 410 single shot. Nah, I'm not interested in a 410 single shot at that price. Oh, this is pretty. What is this? Okay, I'll, I'll with that. It might be several times. Yeah. Yeah. In the old days. Wow, yeah, that's beautiful. Those all meet. 450. Hungarian PPK, 9mm short. 
Colt model, 425, what is that? I don't know what that is. So we got a Bear Man 9mm for 230, FIE revolver, 223, 260 for the Heritage, 22. Let's see, we've got the Taurus for 400. 350 for the Fort Taurus PT-22, little bitty guy right there. Now these little guys right here, if you're on a budget, I highly recommend, I have one, it's the Phoenix Arms 22. A very reliable little gun for me. Uh, 10 plus one on a magazine, I have one with the pinky extension. Quite like the gun. We got a Ruger right here, this one up top, the 370. Little Tars 380 right here for 300. What else? Little G Tars G3C 9 mil 380. We got the Canic now. I'm a fan of the Canic 430. Probably talk them down a little bit even. TP9 SF Elite for 430. That's not a bad buy at all. I do love my Canics. You got another SCCY. You got a Star for 400. Very good prices for especially today's market. So far, so far YouTube, I'm seeing a lot of good deals under 500, or these guns under 500. I can't say they're all deals. Um, I'm seeing a lot of good offers under 500. Remember, there's always wiggle room built into these things, and I never try to pay face value if at all possible. All right, we've got the A-Rex 9 millimeter. Feels okay in the hand. Grip feels a little different. Never heard of them. 17 plus one, 430. I've got them at the Delta version in black as well, 425. So two tones a little more expensive. I've got the Taurus 22. I like the feel. Wow, it feels good in the hand. It does. 380. Um, again, SEC wise, I'm not a big fan of them. All right, I'm not interested at all. 420 for the Taurus 9mm 5 shot. Another Taurus 9mm G2S. 260. 300 for this Taurus G2C. Not bad. This Ruger Knight Max 9 Pro right here. This is 525. Bet you can get him down for under 500. Not bad. Old Ruger MK2 for 500. He got mad. All right, guys, we've got a Rock Island 45 ABC 7 plus 1 in 1911. It's 530. I bet you're talking about a 500 to make the episode. That's a pretty good, uh, we might grab that up. Ooh, look at that. All right, it's used Stoger STR9 through 530. Bet we could talk them down to five on that. Got a 22 Taurus for 325. 400 for the 9mm Taurus GX4. New in the box, Taurus 3C9 300. Value guns, not bad, not bad. A Glock 44 and 22, 400, new in box. Man, that's not a bad deal. Still some deals to be found at the show. Okay, so we've got a, we got a Stevens 12 gauge pump. 325, new in box, right here, this gun right here, uh, let's see, huh? used Winchester, model 37, 350, got a pistol grip, Stevens 320, new in box, right here, 350, again, I always recommend haggling. How you doing, sir? Oh, another great day at the gun show. How about yourself? Been walking around, been deliberating a little bit. And uh, honestly, it was between that six or eight shot revolver rifle looking scout backpack thing over there I saw earlier or that A-Rex 9mm and I think the um, A-Rex 9mm is going to wear win out because I'm kind of interested. Price seems good. And um, I think he's got the optic ready one. So let's go see what he's got. Version, or you have the larger Delta X. All right, yeah, that's what we're picking up. We're picking this one up right here. That comes with optic ready for 430, I think is a really damn good price to look at. What is this A-Rex here? Cause that thing comes, says with slide milled. You see it right there. And this is the gun I'm buying today. So you've got 
We've also got 429 on the price tag, and uh, you know I like to haggle a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. How's four? How's four? How's four hundred sound? Like six seventy five. Well, we, we, like we like yeah, knock off about hundred. Knock off about hundred eighty, and it's about four thirty. <laughs> Craig, is that bring what we're saying? About three hundred to bring it down like yeah. sixty five. Yeah, dude, we're right back at four thirty. Yeah, I like see. Right back, there you go. It's a hell of a deal. So let, <laughs> what? what do, throw an extra oh, box too. Yeah, and, and it, <laughs> look, he's giving me the box. <laughs> do I get the cardboard? Oh, that's extra. Frame. That's it. Oh, yeah. oh, dang. I mean, the, the actual frame is extra too. That's that's just. Oh, a, man. That's just, nice. just the slide. Oh, for four thirty. Oh, that. damn. Just a zip, zip tie, tie for four. So this guy. This guy's a hack. No. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're saying we want to buy this. So uh, I've never seen one. I'm interested. Um, will you take four hundred? I will. You will take four hundred. Man, I should have shot lower, guys. So again, okay, it comes with the back straps, guys. Two tone, two magazines, a cleaning kit, the case. So I, I like it. I appreciate it. And uh, guys, we're gonna go buy this gun. So let's go get uh, let's go get this paperwork started. Get me through the Nick's database here. What'd you buy? Uh, double barrel. Double barrel? Nice, nice. I don't have one, so I understand. I understand. Found us a good deal. Let's fill out this paperwork. Um, so we're yeah, make sure you get it 400. 400. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to have to go buy some 9mm ammo. So we can drop a couple hundred rounds through it. Got any target load 9 mil? <laughs> or did you already get it also? Hey, smart guy. Uh, looks like I'm looks like I'm buying hollow points then. Uh, twenty dollars a box? Well the hollow points are two bucks more. So oh, 22 bucks. All right, already. Uh get me uh sorry, not get me. Matt, please buy four boxes, please. All right, YouTube, another wonderful gun show. First one of 2023, many more to come. We've got the next one scheduled here at the end of this month in Farmington, Missouri. Um, come check out the next video I'll drop when we do a review on the A-Rex. Um, see what the gun is, see how it feels. I'm curious about the trigger, especially at the price point. 400 out the door, better than the SAR, better than the Canik, but the Canik's got a sweet trigger. SAR feels good in my hands um, for the most recent 9 mils I've bought. Uh, but make sure to follow up, check out how the gun cycles. Again, welcome to the 2023 first gun show I could make here in Pacific, Missouri. It was packed.